already, gang, we're going to evaluate this integral, x squared times e to the negative x squared from negative infinity to infinity. It's going to be short, and it's going to be awesome. I got many modifications of this integral, so you can check those out. They're all short as well, uh, but let's jump into it. So we're going to evaluate this using integration by parts, but before we do that, we're going to split up the x squared into x times x, and I'm going to show you why we did that right away. Um, but to do integration by parts, we, it's in this format, so the integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. We just need to find out what the u's, the v's, the du's, and dv's are. Now we're going to set u equal to x, and if we do that, then du dx is equal to 1. Now dv is going to be everything else, because that's what we have here. If u is x, then dv has to be everything else right here. And to evaluate this, or to do the integral of this, I should say, to find out v, we're going to do a, a u substitution, or an n substitution, I guess we'd call it. We'll set n equal to the exponent, negative x squared. That means dn du, the derivative of u with respect to x, is equal to negative 2x using the power rule. And now you can see why we had this x here, because x times dx is equal to dn over negative 2. If we rearrange this equation, multiply both sides by dx, divide by negative 2, we get dn over negative 2 is equal to x dx, and we can substitute x dx in, or substitute this in for x dx. And I hope you can see that. Let me know if that's confusing. And now, instead of negative x squared, we have n here. And now, we can evaluate this integral. The v, if we take the integral of both sides, the integral of this, the integral of e to the n is our friend. It's just e to the n. It's itself. It doesn't change. And this 1 over negative 2 is, is the same as negative 1 over 2. It just comes along for the ride. Now, we don't care about n. We care about x. So we'll substitute back what n is. n is negative x squared. And now we have everything we need for integration by parts. So we'll substitute that in where here u is x, because that's what we set it for. v is what we evaluated right here, negative x e to the negative x squared over 2. And the limits don't change, because we're still in terms of x, from negative infinity to infinity. Minus v is what we just had right here. We'll substitute that in. It's again, the same limits. Now, here we don't have to evaluate the integral. We can just find it out. It goes from infinity to negative infinity. Now, <laughs> Mathematicians don't like this. Uh, they don't like putting infinity in here. They they say we should set this up as a limit. Uh, so this should be the limit as some variable goes to infinity of that variable plugging in here. But I just thought this kind of looked cleaner on one screen. Let me know if this like really annoys you or not. I can I can change that. But anyways, think of it as having going to infinity on the top, going from e to the infinity squared on the bottom. So this goes to zero. And here, the numerator goes to negative infinity, the bottom denominator goes to infinity, but this is going to infinity faster than this one, so it goes to zero as well, so we have both of these going to zero, so this whole side is zero, so that's cool. Now for this one right here, we can clean it up a little bit. We have a negative and a negative, so if we pull that out, that just becomes positive, and we pull out the one half that out of the integral right here. We literally have the integral of e to the negative x squared. This integral does take a little bit of time to evaluate, and I did it in another video, so you can check out that video. It's actually, this is equal to the square root of pi. Uh, just check out my video for this integral. Again, it's short, it's like a couple minutes long. We have the one half and the root pi, so this integral evaluates to root pi over 2, and that's our integral right there. So the integral of x squared times e to the negative x squared dx from negative infinity to infinity is square root of pi over 2. Cool beans. Hope you enjoyed it. Good luck on your midterms, final exams, and assignments, and check out all my other videos. Thanks again for watching. Cheers.